the USA has never seen a decline in its population. But as the saying goes, what rises must eventually fall. And America is no different. Predictions suggest the US population will reach its highest point at 370 million in 2080. And where people reside is expected to undergo significant changes. By 2050, around 90% of the population is anticipated to live in cities, with 60% residing in only 10 states. To discover which states those are, let's watch the video. Number 10. Washington Washington has consistently grown rapidly over the past 33 years, moving from being the 18th most populated state with 4.87 million residents in 1990 to the 13th most populated with 8 million today. This growth is attributed to its stunning scenery and the strong economy of the Seattle area, boasting a median household income of $102,000 the third highest among metropolitan areas. Despite the high cost of living, which is still more affordable than California, a significant number of new residents come from there, leading to a threefold increase in Seattle's metro population to 4.03 million over the last 40 years. The region is expected to see further growth, with predictions of adding 1.2 million jobs and 1.8 million residents by 2050. However, as most newcomers are young professionals not planning to have children, the overall population is anticipated to age, resulting in a slower growth rate. Nevertheless, the state is forecasted to gain 2.4 million residents by 2050, propelling Washington into the top 10 most populous states for the first time. Number 9. Illinois Illinois appears to have received the message ahead of time deciding not to linger until the projected peak population in 2080 for the United States, reaching its peak at 12.9 million residents and ranking as the fifth most populous state in 2013. Illinois has experienced a continuous decline in population for the past decade, with the rate of decrease accelerating. In 2022, a net total of 104,000 residents left the state, marking it as the most migrated from state. Surprisingly, the trend of outmigration is observed across all income brackets, including those making less than $10,000 per year, although usually only wealthier residents have the means to relocate. This decline is largely attributed to the challenges faced by Chicago, home to 75% of all Illinoisans, including high taxes, crime, difficult traffic and weather conditions, and a constantly rising cost of living. Projections indicate that the state's population will start to plateau by 2040 before gradually increasing to an estimated 11.04 million by 2050. Number 8. Ohio Often misunderstood and undervalued, holds the nation's seventh largest population and economy despite lacking a single top 30 largest metro area. Though Ohio, like much of the Midwest, experiences a declining population of 11.76 million. The decrease is less pronounced compared to neighboring states. Recent data showing over half of the total moves in the state as inbound migration suggests a potential turnaround. This is bolstered by Ohio's affordability and the rapid expansion of Columbus's diverse job market. The government's efforts including a $1 billion investment in infrastructure and broadband expansion, along with a new merit scholarship program offering $5,000 to the top 5% of students attending an Ohio university aimed to retain residents. Despite challenges in cities like Cleveland, Akron, Dayton, and Toledo, including high crime and a lack of well-paying jobs leading to out-migration, Ohio's population is expected to remain relatively stable at 11.82 million in 2050. However, the scenario could change in the event of a climate refugee crisis, potentially causing a significant influx of new residents to the Great Lakes region, given its favorable climate and access to 20% of the world's fresh water. Number 7. Pennsylvania Pennsylvania, 
often grouped with Illinois as a one significant state now facing a decline, has distinct differences. Despite drawing parallels between Philadelphia and Chicago as former second cities, Philadelphia's metro population has remained relatively stable. This is because people are leaving the city, but relocating to the suburbs where good-paying jobs still exist. Pennsylvania, unlike Illinois, boasts various prominent cities, not just corn and soy fields. The Keystone State anticipates a significant demographic shift in the next 30 years, with data indicating a decline in the number of individuals under 20. However, the settling of seniors in rural areas, attracted by Pennsylvania's excellent small towns, is expected to counterbalance this population loss. In summary, Pennsylvania is projected to grow from its current fifth most populous state status of 12.97 million to 13.2 million residents by 2050. Number 6. Georgia Georgia has seen a remarkable population growth, increasing from 3.44 million in 1950 to nearly 11 million today, a more than threefold surge over 70 years. While the future growth rate may not match the extraordinary 3% annual increase, the state remains attractive to newcomers, particularly due to Atlanta's outstanding job opportunities. Almost half of the recent residents moved to Georgia for employment, leading to a doubling of Atlanta's metro population in the last 25 years to 6.24 million. The Atlanta Regional Commission predicts further growth of 38%, reaching 8.6 million residents by 2050, which is 17 times the city's metro population of 500,000 in 1950. Overall, Georgia's population is estimated to grow by 23.4% in the next 27 years, reaching 13.55 million. Number 5. North Carolina North Carolina consistently maintains its position among the 15 most populous states in each U.S. Census and is anticipated to make a significant leap in this ranking. Currently in ninth place with 10.82 million residents, it is projected to surpass 14 million residents, securing fifth place by 2050, without having a single metro area in the top 20 largest. Charlotte is undergoing rapid expansion with the metro area expected to experience a substantial 37.8% population gain from 2.76 million today to 3.8 million by 2050. The region with the most anticipated growth is Raleigh, with the metro population of 1.48 million is projected to add a million residents by 2050. This growth is attributed to Raleigh being the hub of the research triangle the nation's fourth fastest growing economy and the exclusive location with a renowned life sciences reputation, university research capabilities, and a cluster of biotech companies. Additionally, the region offers numerous job opportunities in ag tech, fintech, AI, machine learning, and gaming. North Carolina, known as the Tar Heel State, is home to several mid-sized cities expected to experience consistent growth, unlike the western sunbelt states facing hotter climates and water shortages, North Carolina boasts a pleasant climate and the capacity to support a larger population. Number 4. New York New York is likely to maintain its position as the fourth most populous state throughout our lifetimes, barring any unexpected events. Despite current trends of people leaving, driven by high taxes and housing costs, such patterns are temporary. The state faced a population decline from 2015 to 2018, but rebounded with over 600,000 new residents from 2018 to 2020. Many who left during the pandemic sought more space or proximity to family and often stayed within the region, with New Jersey and Connecticut receiving the majority. With the lifting of restrictions, more people moved into New York City last year than in any year of the past decade. The unique allure of New York City, despite its challenges, remains unmatched, attracting both Americans and immigrants. Projections indicate an 8.2% growth in the NYC metro population, reaching 21.15 million by 2050. While the state's overall growth is tempered by the aging population in upstate New York, 
Estimates suggest a total of 20.83 million residents in the state by 2050. Number 3. Florida Florida is presently the fastest growing state, boasting a population of 22.63 million, indicating a 1.61% increase over the past year. Projections suggest that the state will welcome 3 to 400,000 new residents annually for the next decade. Despite wages still needing improvement, Florida's cities, particularly in the Tampa Bay region, are diversifying their economies. This attracts both young professional and retirees, a trend that has been going on since the advent of air conditioning. Notably, the Tampa metro area is anticipated to grow by over 43% reaching 4.71 million residents by 2050 from the current 3.29 million. While Florida is set to remain the third most populous state, it is on track to become the third state ever to surpass 30 million residents, with a projected population of 31.19 million in 2050. However, this hinges on the potential impact of rising ocean levels as almost one-third of Floridians live less than 3 meters above sea level. Although it won't secure a spot in the top 10 most populous states by 2050, Arizona is anticipated to undergo significant population growth, currently holding the 14th position with 7.46 million residents. The Phoenix metro area alone is projected to surpass 7.5 million by 2050. The overall state population is estimated to reach around 10.12 million halfway through the century, ranking as the 12th largest state by population. There's potential for Arizona to enter the top 10 by 2100, provided that concerns related to water and energy with the expanding populations are adequately addressed. Number 2. California California became the most populous state in the nation 60 years ago surpassing New York and has maintained this position since. However, its reign as the largest state by population is likely to last only 20 more years. Despite its appealing weather, scenic landscapes, bustling cities, and diverse economy, the soaring cost of living has made it unaffordable for many residents. Similar to New York, the impact of COVID restrictions and the ability to work remotely contributed to a population decline of 600,000 residents over the past three years, bringing the current population to 38.94 million. The rate of California's population decrease has slowed, with approximately 880,000 fewer residents in the past year. Despite experiencing a net outbound domestic migration for two decades, California grew for 17 of those years, driven by natural increase and substantial international immigration, with immigration numbers expected to return to pre-COVID levels in the coming years. The population is anticipated to stabilize. Projections suggest a modest 1.46% population increase over the next 27 years reaching 39.51 million, which is slightly lower than the state's peak population of 39.54 million. Number 1. Texas There's a major change on the horizon, and for the first time in the nation's history, Texas is set to become the largest state by population. Already home to 30.74 million residents, it's projected to be the fastest growing state in the next 30 years. This is attributed to its affordable cost of living, mild weather, and thriving economies in its four largest cities. By 2050, the Dallas-Fort Worth metro is expected to surpass Los Angeles and become the second largest, boasting a population of 14 million. The Houston metro is anticipated to grow by approximately 33% to reach 10.4 million residents. The merging of the Austin and San Antonio metros into one massive metroplex is foreseen to add 3 million residents, totaling 8.3 million. Overall, Texas's population is estimated to be 39.22 million in 2050. While this means Texas will make up 12.2% of the U.S. population, it's noteworthy that over 50% of Americans currently reside in just nine states. Those are the top 10 projected largest states by 2050. What do you think about it?
Are you also looking to live in one of these states? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and ring that notification bell to keep posted. And check out Luxury Explore for more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.